More scorn is being heaped on the government's handling of the crime situation plaguing the country. The parliamentary opposition is accusing the Portia Simpson Miller administration of turning a blind eye to the high incidence of crime and violence that continues to grip sections of the country. Shadow Minister of National Security Derek Smith says the government has earned an F for its performance. According to Mr. Smith, Jamaicans are cowering in fear. He notes that based on current statistics, approximately 865 Jamaicans have been killed since the start of 2015. Mr. Smith says when compared to the same period in 2014, 169 more persons have been killed since 2015. He made his case at a JLP press conference called on Thursday at the party's Belmont Road headquarters in St. Andrew. In the last seven days, 33 persons have been killed. This month so far, 63 persons have been killed. And that is running 50% ahead of early September last year. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no sign of abatement. In fact, the opposite is happening. The situation is accelerating. Mr. Smith argues that 12 out of the 19 police divisions have seen an increase in violence. He says crime has even filtered into the usually quiet rural areas including Portland, Hanover and Westmoreland. There is also a reported increase in motor vehicle theft. However, fatal shootings have declined. The good news, fatal shootings are down. The security forces seem to have reason not to be shooting as many persons as they did last year and the previous years. Obviously, I attribute this to a great extent to Indica. I also attribute this to, the, to a more professional approach by the members of our security forces. When we look at the murders and we try to assess what's happening, who are involved in this shooting, killings, the police statistics suggest that 46% are gang-related. And they say 42% are just criminal activity, non-gang. A very sorrow situation that we are in at this time. And the opposition is criticizing what they call the notable silence of the government on the matter. Mr. Smith says the country's National Security Minister Peter Bunting and Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller have been mum while crime continues to climb to crisis levels. Unfortunately, we have not been hearing from the Minister of National Security. Last year, at this time, is always on the radio, gloating about the 16% uh, um, decrease over the previous year and speaking to smart policing. But I'd like to, to, to hear what he has to say for the type of policing that we are experiencing now while we have in this horrendous situation. Now we haven't heard from the Prime Minister either. Now the Prime Minister is the, the chairman of the Security Council. And she now would right ought to be speaking to the, the nation and giving the citizens some level of comfort.